Hi, I'm Max Victor, and I'm the new head of school stepping into Christian Fellowship School here in Columbia, Missouri. The, the talk about coronavirus is just starting in the beginning of March. And even in the first couple of days that I was here, there were even debates about, you know, do we shut down? Do we not shut down? Uh, I knew that we needed to have something in place just in case. And, you know, it started with me going around and asking teachers, uh, if we were to have to go to distance learning or remote learning, what would that look like for you? And so I, I basically told some of the teachers, now I, I, I told some of them like, hey, you'll figure out your curriculum and how to do instruction, that'll come. I mean, we, we have a nice system in place, but if nothing else, have that personal connection so that the students can see your face or they can hear your voice or something personal, or they could see a picture of the classroom or a picture of their classmates somewhere, um, that would be the starting point. Um, and so our teachers, especially in the lower grades, they have a self-contained classroom, so they have their own page. And so they still post worship videos, just how the same ones that they would uh, be singing and dancing along with in the mornings every single day, these are posted on the web page. And so the students have some sense of, hey, this, this is what we do at school. And so I could watch this and enjoy this and, and connect with the Lord and worship God even from home. Uh, we also, with the older students, have been just calling, just cold call, um, a phone call home. We checked with the parents that it was okay with them first, but those parents that opted in, teachers have just been calling to check in. And at first we thought it'd be awkward. We thought, you know, what do they want to hear from us? But actually most of the students were really happy to hear from their teacher because we know that there are students that might be hurting or they might be in a place spiritually where they see a lot of trouble in the world around them and, and oftentimes in their home. We have a lot of stress in home right now. We have students that are worried about their, their grades or students that are uh, worried about their parents' safety if the parents are still working or we have students where they're, you know, they're seeing a financial situation that's not ideal right now. And so just hearing, you know, hey, there's an adult that cares about you, who's thinking about you, uh, you know, and then that reminder that, and also there's a God that's thinking about you and who cares about you. Uh, that's that's been really crucial and really key. As far as Bible in the middle school, the middle school Bible teacher has done something that really impressed me. He he moved away from assignments. He even admitted he's like, you know what, this isn't what I want to be doing. I'm tired of sending out worksheets for Bible. I want to just move to small groups. And so he's like arranged the whole thing of small groups with Zoom calls. And so these middle schoolers are going on to Zoom and and they're able to tackle kind of spirit, spiritual questions that are, that are appropriate for their age level. And there's this youth ministry that's continuing to happen, um, which is just incredible for me. I mean, that was our greatest need. And, you know, as a school administrator, I, I was able to set up the, the platform and the online learning. I had enough IT knowledge to be able to make that happen. But I really depend on these, these youth ministry leaders uh, who have the drive and and I have the heart to set something like that up. And so I'm really happy that that in particular is happening. These students are getting a spiritual connection with one another. Um, very fortunate to have these teachers that are doing that and also this, this technology that enables us to continue to connect.